it's crazy to me how some people are so, so done out of my life and um, they still think that they're a part of my life but they act in ways that just show me over and over that they are not. It's a little bit difficult for me to hold so much bandwidth and to hold so many people and so many mistakes and so many, um, you know, you can put so much, you know, let's say so, much, so many times water under the bridge and this is true for a lot of people but it's very difficult for me to go to each and every one of these people and say, you know, I don't like you anymore. You're not conducive to my life. I don't think that you should be a part of my life anymore. But I can't because there's just so many people. And even the people that were really good to me also suddenly don't are, are not no longer good to me anymore. And I'm not here to complain. I'm not complaining about it. I don't think it's a, it's a good or bad thing. I think that a lot of people need to move on. I, need a, I think a lot of people need to realize that I'm not always going to be there for them and that I'm only there for the people that I can be there for. And there are a lot of people, there's too many people for me to just be like, I'm there for you, 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 and you, 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 all the time. I can give you everything. And then, you know, people wonder why I act different or I act weird. I don't. It's just I'm just acting like I'm supposed to act right now and you're stuck in the past and you think that I'm another person. And the truth is everybody kind of changes and moves on. And like you don't even know half the things that are happening in my life. You don't even bother to ask or, you know, figure it out. So how, how can you even know where I'm at? I understand that you may be thinking that it's different now or that you may have like preconceived notions. You may think something about me. You may, you may believe certain things about me, you know, based on what you know about me and how I was in the future, uh, how I was in the past. And I, I, I know that, you know, we, we always say like, you know, don't stress, focus on your job, make, make things happen, and then, and then we'll see. But the thing is that I'm scared. I, I don't know who I'm gonna be, you know, a year from now, two years from now, every year I change in, immensely, and not in a bad way. You know, I'm, I just, just in a way that is showing that, you know, maybe you're not right for me anymore because around you, I need to act a certain way. I need to be someone that I'm not, or you act in a way that I don't like anymore. And, and I don't think it should be, you know, um, I don't think I should be like punished for it. I think that it's okay to move on. I think that if you're moving on, not because of ego, just because of like making sure that your, your life is, is fun and great and awesome, you know, and I'm, I'm no longer like a part of that. I don't make your life better anymore, then I think that's fair. But don't move on halfway, like I'm fine. I have way more like stuff, you know, for, for that, that's going for me, like personally than I used to. So I, I don't need necessarily the extra pressure of, 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 of you thinking that, that we can still, you know, have some kind of relationship, even though our relationship is in the past. And I've always been one to, to say, you know what, I don't like when people leave. I think you should stay. I think I tell it to everyone. I always I always reach out. I always go forward. I always, um, every time I think of something, I do it. Um, and it's pretty scary. That's why I've gotten into a lot of problems and, and trouble and, and, you know. But, you know, when when it gets toxic, when it's no longer like, oh, we should hang out or like, I should text you. And like, you don't like, and it just gets weird. I think that that, that time, that when that happens, I think it's time to, to, to move on completely and start being useful in my life, like on a real level. Because if you're not, then there's absolutely no point in me even thinking about you. Um, because it's already so difficult. It's not pleasant. I don't like thinking about us. I don't like thinking about us in the past. I don't like I don't like thinking about the memories of us, even though they were good memories. It's just that you can't realize that I've made better memories, and then I don't really care about you or the memories anymore, because every moment that you spend thinking about a crappy memory is a moment not spent thinking of something better or the future. And it doesn't mean I don't like you. It doesn't mean that I don't I, like part partly because I don't know you anymore, and I keep trying to reach out and I keep trying to ask. Um, to get to know you again, I, I keep trying to, 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 to keep up with your life and it's very difficult. And you know, it's not just you, 
it's a lot of other people and obviously there's not everyone watching like this I'm talking to to these people right from my past who are um, are just not the same to me anymore and it makes me really sad because there's so much we can go on there's so much we can go like build upon there's like no shit between us we can help each other out and sometimes I think that like my own belief in myself should be affected. I shouldn't believe in myself as much because suddenly I feel useless to some people. And I feel like these, these, these relationships can be built upon, can be worked on, but they're contingent on so many different things. So I've been put in a box and this box is, is very real and I'm living in it. But if you're no longer in this box with me, you know, and the box is moving, you might not even be able to find the box anymore. So anyway, this is what I want to share for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.